Okay, welcome to Sugar Cloud Beer Review. I'm Jammer. I'm Shagdaw. We're drinking uh, New Belgium's Hemperer HPA. Ale with hemp seed and natural flavor. The Hemperer HPA is a new kind of hoppy beer blending hemp with hops for complete sensory domination. See our sustainability efforts at thehemperer.com. And also, uh, a beer advocate gives us a 85. It's an American IPA, 7% ABV. Awesome. And new Belgian brewer coming. Also says something. I won't read the whole thing, but that's where the hemp comes into the picture. Without getting too nerdy, we found a unique way to recreate hemp terpene flavors in a beer, which complement the inclusion of hot flavors and hemp hearts, seeds, in a brand new delicious way. Not to mention this beer is extremely dank. I feel like I'm I'm a little hazy camera wise. Do I look hazy on the camera? Uh, uh, or is it just me? No, I, I just opened right. the bottle up. And you got hazy? I, I, I don't know. I, I smell that I smell that just like those seltzers we did by uh, four twenty. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Supposedly there's a couple of versions of this. Uh, one actually will give you a a little buzz buzz. Uh, yeah, this one's 7%, so I don't know if we get the buzz buzz from that, but it says something about hemp seeds or something, hemp something seeds, so. Yeah, there's no THC in it, though. Yeah, unfortunately. That's what makes Mary J. Juana yeah. the happy, happy one, you know. Or the hoppy one. Yeah. Hoppy! Uh, uh, this is your typical Belgian, New Belgian brewing bottle and cap. As you saw earlier, I showed you the cap. Yeah. It has New Belgian across mm -hmm. the bottle. I'm glad that they have their own bottle because, you know, when you get to a certain level, you should step up and, you know. I love that. I love that hemper, too. Look, he's got hemp all over him. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. that's the king of bud right there. Yeah. King of Bud, and I got a nice maybe one inch there head, right? Yeah, about that. I'm a little yeah. pinky, yeah. and it's got a kind of a golden amber looking. Yeah, thing. yeah it's a weird, like a dank looking gold, huh? Yeah, like a, a rusted gold on the like, yeah. I'm gonna give it another sniff here, kind of like a beer that's been sitting in a hemp. Uh, head shop uh, all day long, getting all the, the hemp water from the, uh, the, all the uh, vapors and everything, right? Pipe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe that from bong or something. Yeah, the, the, the bong pipe. Not the bong, but the, what does they oh, call those things? Uh, the hookah. The hookah? The hookah pipe, yeah. Yeah. Can you smoke marijuana out of that? I never have, but yeah. I'm sure they can. I don't, I don't know shit. Uh, you know a lot more than what you let on. <laughs> This is made, mixed with four types of hops and three malts. The Hemper is a pale ale that smells like wacky tobacco, but contains no THC or CBD. The two ingredients of marijuana that make you feel funny. That's what it needs. That's probably what it needs, yeah. yeah. Before we even drink it, Shag Dog's already announced that's what it needs. Yeah. <laughs> but it does have that hemp smell, but it's also turning into a sweet cotton candy smell to me. Like a fruity... You're stoned already. A fruity... <laughs> uh, like berry cherry. A little bit, yeah. I think that's... Kind of cotton candy type. That's, I see what it is. I think that, that terrapin... I knew, or, I, I knew a girl named Candy. I knew a girl named Candy, but I didn't know her well. Guess what? She was sweet. Was she? <laughs> I knew a girl named Candy when I was like middle school, but she, I didn't know her well, though. Yeah, it was back in high school. I, I, I say she was sweet. She was a, a nice girl. I mean, she was kind of a bad girl, but she was a nice girl. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Smells good. Let's give it a sip. Let's do it. Shot, right? Cheers. Cheers.
Definitely IPA qualities. It's got, yeah, but it's not bitter, bitter. It's smooth. Yeah. smooth. I think that whatever that hemp stuff they're using there, terrapin or whatever they're using there, give that hemp taste, uh, probably smooths it out a little bit. Got a nice smoothness to it. You get a little bitter on the tip of your tongue and on the back end. Yeah. yeah. But overall, it's very, it almost tastes, uh, like grainy a little bit yeah i see what you're saying especially with the aftertaste too mm -hmm. i mean i'm not a big fan of it no i'm not a big fan of it either but it's not too bad uh just like with those 420 seltzers that have the terrapin in it whatever yeah, I, that was the better ones of the seltzers to it, me. It was the better of the seltzers. They're more bearable, I guess. But Yeah. But overall, I, I think that, uh, you know, you're not getting. Should, yeah. I mean, it's not bad, but. You're getting the hoppy, which is like the, the like an IPA or, you know, any kind of pale ale should have a little bit of the hoppy, kind of piney. Kind of uh, what yeah, is not, the, the taste? Uh, usually, you have citrus in an IPA, but yeah. the citrus is kind of overwhelmed by every, that hemp type stuff. And uh, I think the malty sweetness kind of kind of mellows it out. Yeah, I mean, you can under the undertones, you can taste the, the piney, a little bit of the citrus, not much, but. But it really masks it really well, whatever the hell's in that. But so you get kind of like uh, the hop up front, you know, you got it kind of there. But it, it's very mellow, and it almost almost has a, almost a. It's going to sound funny me saying it, herbal type taste. <laughs> you know, like uh, some kind of seasoning or spice, maybe that coriander that you like right. so much. Uh, yeah, look, maybe a little bit, yeah. But and, I'm, and some lemon, but it has that malty sweetness that uh, just kind of malty, kind of bready type sweetness. Yeah. It's almost like a weak IPA, really. Yeah, I mean, it's very smooth and kind of mellow. For yeah, me. I mean, you can tell it's an IPA, but whatever else they got in there with the the terrapin or whatever hell else they come up with that hemp flavor is masking everything else pretty well. Yeah. So if you don't like IPAs, you might like this just for the fact, well, if you like marijuana and you don't like IPAs, you might like this. Yeah. I guess. If you like marijuana, stick to it. I mean, you kind of, kind of pick up the alcohol in this. A little bit. It's 7% though, but I think that's masked pretty well too. A little bit you can pick up though. Yeah, you can pick it up just a little. Bit. Feel a little bit of the warming sensation of it, but not yeah. a whole lot. Yeah. It's uh, not bad though. I mean, I'm not a big marijuana flavored beer person, but I think I think it's better than those uh, four twenties that we had, or Sweetwater four twenty uh, seltzers. It's kind of kind of on the dry side. Yeah. You know. When you drink it, and it kind of has a dry finish. Now, what happened if you were single, and you went to a bar in Colorado, and they tell you, because, you know, marijuana is legal in Colorado, right? They tell you, if you drink this at the bar, and the girls see you drinking out of the Hemperer bottle, they'll be all over you, like you're the Hemperer. Would you drink it? Well, and I you would saw say. Some other, and you saw some other guy drinking a Hemperer, and, like, girls are all around him? Well, there, like, comes, oh. the, there comes the question. Now he's drinking it. Are they just going to rush over to me now? And as soon as somebody else opens one, they're going to rush to them. <laughs> That's possibly, possibly. Well, maybe then, they'll, maybe they'll spread out. You know, so there's twenty on him. I, I don't need to be teased. Maybe there's twenty on him, but you're the second person drinking. So now ten of them leave him and come to you, and someone else drinks it, and you know. So they're just know. rushing to any Let's keep Tom splitting their hair. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Uh, what happened if it was Metherer? 
And all the girls show up to have teeth and shit. And oh, that'd be all gummy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's it, the, the carbonation's kind of light on this too. I think we should go ahead and grade it. What do you think? I'm all for it. It's not bad. I mean, I don't like IPAs, the big one, but it's, it's smooth. I guess with the hemp shit going on, it's kind of smooth to drink. It's got, got the qualities of a pale ale. Pale, IPA right? or a pale ale? Uh, IPA. You know, it's got it's some of those qualities. Yeah. But it's got this malty kind of sweetness. The novelty of it being uh, hemp, you know, it's got that yeah. dank quality. Got a nice dry finish. Overall, for the type of beer it is, yeah, which they've kind of almost created their own. Uh, right. style. HPA, yeah, hemp pale ale. Right? Yeah, I would actually make a beer with. THC. Bro, I would, yeah, I would put the, sh I bet you they do at the ro at the brewery because it's legal yeah. in Colorado. I bet you they said, well, this, this batch here has real shit in it. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't put a lot, but I would put a little bit, you know, yeah. and I, I would get, because some people who uh, smoke uh, marijuana drink at the same time. Right. It's mixing two drugs, but what the hell? Everybody does yeah. it. I All think right. it'd make you drive better. Drink up. I give it a B minus and a swallow. I think it's all right. All right, all right, all right. It's got a nice, uh, smooth, mellow. Makes you want to relax and just take it easy. Maybe get you a nice girl and make love by the firelight. And uh, maybe have some munchies. Munchies, yeah. Eat some food off the girl by the firelight. <laughs> some whipped cream, some strawberries, some cherries. Right. Some people can't eat strawberries, though, due to diverticulitis. <laughs> well, pick whatever berry you want. So what'd you give it? You give it a grade yet? I'm, I'm still contemplating. Oh, okay. Because I got a story to tell you. I want to hear your thoughts. Nice, on it. nice mouthfeel. Very good. I'm going to give it a – what did you give it? I give it a – B minus, right? No, did I give it a B minus? Oh, yeah, B minus. Good. B minus and a swallow, yeah. I'm giving it a straight straight up B and a swallow. Yeah, I don't give too many Bs out to uh, IPAs because, you know, there's a few I like, though. Place is waste. That's my beer sticking yeah, to the glass. To yeah, you got good, better lace than I got. All right, Jamie, you ready for this story? Hit me with a story. All right, I, I lost the page I had on the internet. I'm not going to look it up. Too gruesome or gory. Hit me with a story. But there's an Instagram model, and she was on some type of show. Amen. Instagram model, I'm all for it. Her name is Aya, Aya J or something, A Y Y Y E J A, whatever, something. Uh, is she thin? Eh, she's thin, but she's, I can't tell if she's black or hispanic or white but she's got really big lips but they look like they're injected with something i don't think she's that pretty really but she's an instagram model but she's oh, on the oh, show oh, oh, hold on a second what what is the instagram model's name a y y y uh e j something i hate to be uh, deferring to the computer hey let's yeah. look it up yeah it's a y y y a oh, you're not looking it up. You're not yeah, I'm pulling up. You want me? Yeah, yeah hold on. I can, play, I can play the video actually to tell the whole story. I just had to hit the head I don't want to work. <laughs> yeah. I just want to I don't want to pay. For, I don't want to pay for my college. You're breaking my groove. <laughs> All right, let me share the screen. Okay. I want free health care. Uh, All right, there it is. I don't think I can enlarge it, but oh, I didn't do audio, did I? No, I don't know what's wrong. God with you. damn it. <sighs> She's not on YouTube. Everybody's on YouTube. Yeah, no. Okay, let's do that again. Share screen. Chrome. 
Fall that asleep one here. and share audio. Okay. <laughs> this wasn't planned. I was just going to tell you a story. You're going to want to see stuff. Well, you talk about a girl, a model. I want to uh, see the model. That's her on the right, I think. Click that little button down on the bottom right of that picture. Not that one. Okay. She's so shy. It's just so cute. Go over the screen again. I don't know. I was getting fucked in the hotel. There you go. Which one? The one on the right. Did you hear what you said? Basketball players in a row. How was that? I'll rewind it. I was fucked up. I didn't see Memorial Day weekend. On my birthday, I seen them all at Dre's, like this one team. Okay. She's so shy. It's just so cute, <laughs> know, baby. Like, and I don't know. I was getting fucked in a hotel room. They all pulled up, and I sucked their dick. But the mic down. The whole team. Seven. Seven basketball players in a row. Mm-hmm. How was that? <laughs> I was fucked oh up. God. I didn't fuck any of them though. She said. What yeah, happened okay. to the nuts? Swallowed. All of them. Yeah. And nothing she happened. You didn't have like a, a weird reaction in your stomach or anything. No, no, I went past that. sounds so fun. You're almost making it sound like you were too fucked up to be sucking seven dicks. And also, you were exactly. getting fucked by somebody else right before this. Yeah, they walked in <laughs> mid me getting fucked. How did they walk the in? Where were you? In the hotel room. So I was fucking like someone that works with the team, and I know, I know that team because I've hooked up with them before. The but they team. all pulled up. No, not the whole team. <laughs> okay. Like a few of them. They all just pulled up. They knew I was in there, and they were like, "Let's get lit." And they were just sitting around the bed and they just rotated. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yo, they all love you. So you don't Told look back. Do you look back at this as a positive memory? Yeah, I don't care. It was lit. Hell yeah. It was lit. Was she's like just that. nervous lit. right now. No, I mean, she's not that nervous. So she immediately told us about sucking seven dicks in a row. You know what I'm saying? All right. So what was your uh, story that you were getting at? Though? Oh, well, she's <coughs> uh, stuck. Seven men off. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me close this shit. But uh, you think, and she says, the Phoenix Suns, uh, later on on Instagram or one of those things, well, which team was it? Uh, the Phoenix Suns. Do you think she sucked seven Phoenix Suns guys off at the same time, like took turns on them and swallowed all their nut? I, I wouldn't be surprised. You as a basketball player, whether you're good friends with everybody on the team or not, would you get with seven of your buddies on a team? You're, that's your profession. Hey, come on, guys. I know this one bitch. We're all going to get our dick sucked tonight. Well, I bet you there are like seven thugs who told her they play for the Phoenix Suns. Yeah. And uh, she believed them. Probably. That's how she dumb so she lit. sounds. I mean, she yeah, she's so lit. That's how dumb she sounds. She believes and, anybody's and over being that she five. thinks it's such a positive thing, you know. Yo, yeah, I was lit. I was lit. I was lit. Yeah. So I what will. you're saying is that you could do anything, have anything done to you, and you're all right with it as long as you're lit. I would have let that girl suck me and her best friend sit next to her with her head doing this. Yeah. As soon as I heard uh, her talk, I was like, you know, you're lit. Get the hell out of here. Uh, especially, here's the thing. Uh, if you're in any kind of position where you have money and power and all that stuff, somebody's going to do something to try to get that money or power. And what I mean by that is you're going to have some girl turn around and say, oh, he raped me. He did this. Or I'm pregnant by his baby, you know, uh, with his baby and all that stuff. Uh, uh, pregnant by his baby. That would be really weird, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fun, actually. That'd be a superpower. <laughs> Baby fucker. <laughs> Baby has super sperm. <laughs> uh, but no, I was going to say, uh, so, you know, there's always somebody that's looking to, to knock you down. Yeah. So right off the bat, I'd be leery of that. Man, here I am with uh, seven guys on a team, most likely people that I know how they their hygiene is, and I know – that they've been around doing this or that or whatever like that. And I wouldn't want to be a, any kind of connection to them. Right. I don't care what anybody says. You fuck somebody who's been with this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. You basically fucked all those guys and her. Right. Right. And the reason I say that is because she has been with them. Right. And go on to that <laughs> too. Even if the guy she was already in the hotel room having sex with set actually worked for the Phoenix Suns, you know, probably slept the floor or some shit. 
yeah. told her, I know seven of the Phoenix, some of the Phoenix Suns, even though she said she knew some of them already, uh, she probably would believe them. Yeah, yeah he probably over. And texted his buddies and said, hey, I yeah, got this girl over. here. She's lit. Uh, you can go ahead and get your dick sucked. Uh, just give me uh, 50 bucks a piece. Yeah. Or, you know, give me right. 30, bucks, 30 bucks a piece. They probably let them run a train on her, too, and all that stuff. And wouldn't know that. Yeah. They probably yeah. did, yeah. I can't imagine seven guys and they're getting it done and, like, one of them not talking her into, come on, girl, bend over. Let me yeah. get that from behind while you suck him off or something. Yeah. It was that that was too vivid, but anyhow. Uh, yeah, I, I guarantee you she probably uh, did it, you know. At least two of them. Or four. Yeah. <laughs> or five. <laughs> Well, it also depends on what you consider fucking, because some girls don't think fucking in the ass is fucking. Right. That's true, too. There you go. So, there you go. Oh, nobody fucked me. You know. I've, been I've, been crazy. Crazy. I've been shitting for crazy for a week. <laughs> Just falling right out. Well, I like the the announcer guy. He goes, "Well, she's not too shy. She sucked. She sat there and just told us about sucking seven guys off and falling every nut." Yeah, that's nasty. If you ask me, uh, I find it is that she's wanting to be famous, right? And she's willing to do anything to be famous. Mm -hmm. She's one of those casting couch favorites, right there. So what she does. It's stupid that she's going to go to the, that producer, whoever that may be, whether it's real or not. And go ahead and, and get on that couch and, and let them go to town and may or may not get a movie part. Right. So what she do? She sucked seven. If she really did suck seven dudes, she sucked seven dudes that were friends with the floor sweeper of the Phoenix Suns. <laughs> <laughs> They're all six, over six Actually, feet four. Actually, a janitor at a uh, Denny's who knows – a floor sweeper at the Phoenix Suns. Yeah. If I was with them, they're like, she'd be like, he plays? Uh, yeah. He's like Muggsy Bogues. You know, he's a short point guard, you know, five foot eight or, yeah. or Spud Webb or something. You know, I, I'm i all for women having, uh, being free to all that stuff. You know, you know, back in the day, they would look at, being prudish and say, oh, that girl, she's a slut, a whore, and all that stuff. And that's what they would call her, you know? Yeah. But, and and sexual freedom for women, being able to do whatever they want to do and everything like that. But if you notice today, it's gotten really out there where the women are acting more like men and the men are acting more like women. Well, it, yeah, if you go on to, I mean, I can show you something right now. Let me just go ahead and show it to you. I'll show it to you, the camera. I probably shouldn't show somebody from a website, but they got this thing on POF live. The girls are on their live, right? Mm -hmm. Not, there's only like one, I don't, well, Katie and I have chatted with a couple of them on there. Hey, uh, you know, but nothing major, you know. But most of them got some mouse on them, like you wouldn't believe, like, Every other word is like Pat with tits and a vagina. You know, it's like every other word is an F word. Let me see if I can get something up here. We'll just say this girl here. Watch this. Now watch. If she starts talking, she ain't talking yet. All right, she ain't talking at all. Let's go to the next one. How about this one? She's all doing... A lot of them got some dirty mouths on them. They're like, F, F, F. I'm like, God, you girls are a bunch of holes. I want to get one of these skank girls on here. Well, right, here's, here's probably one. A lot of them look pretty in their picture, but when you get to them, they're like, like she's like her picture looked pretty, but. Then I'll, no, no, we got to go. Does it get lit, though? Get lit. Is that a new word, get, get lit? lit. Uh, I don't know what that means. It's not a Lou one. What's up, LKG? But lit to me Derek, is like it fucked up, you know? I'm going to get lit. That's what it is. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you want me to say to her? Show us your boobs. <laughs> You're making it so hard. You can't do that in there. It's POF, yeah. There's no nudity allowed, no alcohol, no drugs. She's a beautiful angel. Oh, well, we'll get off that. But anyhow, most of the girls on her. Are swearing up and down. I'm like, oh my god. I'm gonna tell you something, and I've said it before. 
the I mean, don't get me wrong. There's places for all these women and yeah. men, the same way. Yeah. But here's what most people would say, most guys. I want a woman who out in public is a lady, but who is the biggest whore in the bedroom. Right. You know what I mean? Hey, you don't want a girl five miles and embarrassing you out in or no, because you, know, you, like, you don't you don't want that. Now there's yeah. guys out there that don't give a fuck and, and they'll do whatever and they'll you know out there in public they'll do whatever they want to and they don't care if their woman is like that. Yeah. The fact that it, it kind of makes them laugh. That's why you have kids today running around right now like this Netflix uh, thing they're gonna put out with the cuties. Uh, they they're, got the, these girls dressing up and sensual uh, stuff, and they're only about 10, 12, 13 years uh, old. I'm on a tangent. Let me finish. All right. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, you take, uh, <clears throat> take you know, the good and take the bad. And there you have the facts of life. Uh, got me off of track. It was like you're born in this year. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm like pulling a chair. You, 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 you know the thing. You know, right? <laughs> uh, what I was going to say is like uh, we were on the – let's backtrack. We were where? We were on this whole thing about women, right? Okay. We were on Having the whole thing about – And being slutty, yeah. Oh, I was talking about the kids, you know. They talk about these little girls and they sexualize them and everything by giving and getting them to dress up in these little outfits and all that stuff. And then they put them out there and everything. What I was going to say is that like they show these uh, TikTok, they show these girls who are obviously only about 15, 14, 13, 16. And they're, they're doing lip sync to different songs and stuff. Or movies. Yeah. Yeah. And a comedy. And, they're standing there. She has her mother right there, and she talks about uh, the, the the song goes yo uh, something about tits, right? And then all of a sudden, talk about sucking dick and everything, and and all this stuff. And meanwhile, the mother's back there going yeah. like this. But all the while, you know, they practice it because here she is lip syncing and do a little dance and all that stuff. Oh yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, you're the fucking parent. Mm-hmm. And you're allowing your 15, your teenage daughter right. to be on TikTok. Right. Lip syncing to a, a rap song that talks about getting fucked in the ass, getting fucked by in, in the tits, getting and sucking dick. Right. Now, even and you're mother- the freaking parent. All right. I don't care how liberal, I don't care how far left leaning you are. Your daughter's going to be a, a freaking parent. Your daughter's going to be a whore. And most likely your daughter is going to grow up fathers. Yeah, having more, multiple abortions. Three, four, five children by five or ten fathers. Uh, multiple abortions. Yeah, you're right. I couldn't but tell her what to do. You can't you. tell her that. She'll She'll leave just like I did with my father. No, that's your father should have whooped your ass too. Yeah, that's not true because if uh, if if the father actually cared and loved and all that stuff, then would have yeah. said those things and would have whooped her ass for wanting to wear, you know, whatever. Right. The the daughter ain't gonna leave because of that. They're gonna leave because they're getting treated badly. Yeah. But not yeah. because somebody cares enough to tell you yeah. not to wear something. So why don't you tell me about? Well, I didn't tell you because I know you just act just like this, and you'd say something to her, and you know, she'd end up running away like I do with my father when he got on me because I was with some guy, and I, uh, I was like, yeah, yeah, we're out of beer. But uh, but the same girl, even though she end up having three babies, three fathers. She told me like two or three years ago, you know, because she ended up moving with her father a senior in high school, you know, left her mother. She came back like a year later after she graduated high school. But 
But she actually sent me a message one time on Facebook, like Shane, uh, Shag Dog, uh, you know, you're more of a father than my own father to me. I just want to say thank you for all you've done for my mom and me and Robert, you know, stuff like that. I was like flabbergasted, you know, even though it didn't work. But yeah. I guess she was trying to thank me. I, I kind of figure what you're trying to pr- save me from. I didn't listen, you know, type thing. You know? Exactly. That's the funny part. See, as raising kids, they tell you teach them when they're young, and they will always come back. And what right. basically they're saying is, if you teach them right when they're young, and yeah, they may stray, make mistakes, and do things, right. but eventually they'll come back and they'll turn around and say, you know what? You're the only one that truly loved me because you're trying to watch out for me, trying to prevent me from be- doing the mistakes that I did or almost right. did. And you know what? I appreciate it. Uh, right. Anyway, let's move on to a beer. Let's move on. But, soapbox. Yeah. All right. Oh, well, yeah. So you're on a soapbox? Yes, yeah, so on a soapbox. That's an old term that Joe Biden would know. <laughs> he would know that because back in the day, there was wooden soapboxes, and people used to stand, stand on them and on. preach. Yeah, he'd be in the soapbox. <laughs> <laughs> he'd be making a soapbox derby car. <laughs> he'd be like tasting the soap. <laughs> oh, he'd be sniffing it, <laughs> sniffing the soap, and kissing it. Yeah. Or maybe even licking it, you know? then feeling it up. Oh, of course. Yeah. From Did you behind. see that one video I sent you? Yeah. Uh, Joe Biden. Uh, yeah, I saw it. I sniffed a. Oh it? yeah. And the super know. creep, super creepy, super. I didn't, see creepy. I didn't see that one. You didn't see that? Put it on Facebook. Oh, I gotta pee. Well, I I need a beer. All right, well, let's do the next video. We're going to do the other hemp one or green man. Yeah, let's do green yeah, man. Might as well follow it up. You had the hemp. emperor, you had the king of hops, the king of bud, the yeah. lord of lord of the reefer. I mean, lord reefer. <laughs> it's time to have yeah. green man. All right, <laughs> let's do the green man. His, All right. Guess what, guess what Green Man's wife is called? Green Girl? Nah, Greenpeace. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> Not Greenpeace. Let's do it. Let's what does do Green Man do? Let's what do does, the beer. What does Green Man do Greenpeace with? Uh, green Thumb. Ah, he dumps her. <laughs> and watch it grow. Watch it grow, yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, uh, let's see you on the next one. Here's our fog there, man. Yeah. I didn't get my name. Oh, my God. Ha, ha, ha.